Miami has a tropical monsoon climate with hot and humid summers and short, warm winters, with a marked drier season in the winter. Its sea level elevation, coastal location, position just above the Tropic of Cancer, and proximity to the Gulf Stream shape its climate. With January averaging 68.2 a degree Fahrenheit, winter features mild to warm temperatures. Cool air usually settles after the passage of a cold front, which produces much of the little amount of rainfall. Lows sometimes fall to or below 50 a degree Fahrenheit, with an average 10 such occurrences annually, but very rarely 36 a degree Fahrenheit. From 1981 to 2010, temperatures reached that level in only eight calendar years. Highs generally reach 70 a degree Fahrenheit, and fail to do so on an average 12 days annually. The wet season begins sometime in May, ending in mid-October. During this period, temperatures are in the mid-80s to low-90s, accompanied by high humidity, though the heat is often relieved by afternoon thunderstorms or a sea breeze that develops off the Atlantic Ocean, which then allow lower temperatures, but conditions still remain very muggy. Much of the year's 61.9 inches of rainfall occurs during this period. Extreme temperatures range from 27 a degree Fahrenheit on February 3, 1917, to 100 a degree Fahrenheit on July 21, 1942 the triple digit reading on record. The last freezing temperature seen at Miami International Airport was on Christmas Day 1989. The highest daily minimum temperature is 84 a degree Fahrenheit on August 4, 1993 and September 7, 1897, and conversely, the lowest daily maximum temperature is 45 a degree Fahrenheit on February 19, 1900. Miami has never recorded any accumulating snowfall although there were dubious claims of snow flurries on January 19, 1977 during the cold wave of January 1977. Weather conditions for the area around Miami were recorded sporadically from 1839 until 1900, with many years long gaps. A cooperative temperature and rainfall recording site was established in what is now downtown in December, 1900. An official Weather Bureau office was opened in Miami in June 1911. Heavy snow squalls with accumulations that lasted for a few hours after the snow had stopped falling in February 1899 were reported but these are not official since there is no written record of it. Miami receives abundant rainfall, one of the highest among major U.S. cities. Most of this rainfall occurs from mid-May through early October. It has an average annual rainfall of 61.9 inches, whereas nearby Fort Lauderdale and Miami Beach receive 66.5 inches and 51.7 inches, respectively, which demonstrates the high local variability in rainfall rates. Miami reports more thunderstorms than most U.S. cities, with about 80 days per year having thunder reported. These storms are often strong, with frequent lightning and very heavy rain. Occasionally, they can be severe with damaging straight-line winds and large hail. Tornadoes and water spouts sometimes occur, although violent tornadoes of the type seen in other parts of the U.S. are rare in Florida. During El Nia plus or minus O events, Miami becomes cooler than normal during the dry season with above average precipitation. During La Nia plus or minus a, Miami becomes warmer and drier than normal. Tropical versus subtropical. There is some contention over whether or not Miami has a fully tropical or subtropical climate such as humid subtropical. Many tropical flora grow there, as well as tropical animal species. However, Cyclical cold spells that occasionally bring temperatures in the 30s kill particularly sensitive species. A record-setting 12-day cold snap in January 2010 killed a significant population of the invasive iguanas, which took more than five years to recover. During the cold wave of January 1977 that saw snowfall over the majority of the state, major crop losses occurred to the citrus and vegetable industries all the way to South Dade. The climate regime for much of the state is humid subtropical, though portions of the Gold Coast, as well as all of the Florida Keys, qualify as one of several tropical classifications. Coastal South Florida falls into USDA Zone 10B for plant hardiness, where annual extreme low temperatures range from 30 to 40 a degree Fahrenheit, versus Zone 9 in Central Florida, and Zone 8 in Northern Florida. 
The car paragraph PPEN climate classification only takes into account monthly mean temperature, which must be over 64 Fahrenheit every month of the year. Miami and the rest of southern Florida meet this criteria though this belies the occasional extreme cold spells to much lower temperatures that often only last a day during short-lived cold fronts. Tables this chart shows the average coastal ocean water temperature by month in degrees Fahrenheit for Miami Beach based on historical measurements. Hurricanes The Atlantic hurricane season officially runs from June 1 through November 30, although hurricanes can develop beyond those dates. The most likely time for Miami to be hit is during the peak of the Cape Verde season which is mid-August through the end of September. Due to its location between two major bodies of water known for tropical activity, Miami is also statistically the most likely major city in the world to be struck by a hurricane, trailed closely by Nassau, Bahamas, and Havana, Cuba. Despite this, the city has been fortunate in not having a direct hit by a hurricane since Hurricane Cleo in 1964. However, many other hurricanes have affected the city namely the Great Miami Hurricane in 1926, Betsy in 1965, Andrew in 1992, Irene in 1999, and Hurricanes Katrina and Wilma in 2005. At least 35 direct and 26 indirect deaths in Florida were attributed to Wilma. In addition, a tropical depression in October 2001 passed over the city, causing record rainfall and flooding. Locally, the storm is credited as the no-name storm of 2000, though the depression went on to become Tropical Storm Leslie upon entering the Atlantic Ocean. A hurricane, known as the Great Miami Hurricane of 1926, caused catastrophic damage to the heavily developed Miami and Miami Beach area. Hurricane Betsy passed over Key Largo, south of the city, but did cause hurricane force winds and very heavy rainfall there. Hurricane Andrew in 1992 also struck south of city and caused extensive damage and flooding in the Homestead area suburbs. Hurricane Wilma in 2005 caused severe damage to many high-rise buildings in the downtown area as it broke many windows out, which in turn caused bad water damage on the insides of the buildings. It also caused at least 35 direct and 26 indirect fatalities in Florida. Miami has been identified as one of three cities in the United States most vulnerable to hurricanes, mainly due to its location and it being surrounded by ocean and low-lying coastal plains, the other two cities being New Orleans and New York City. Notes. See also, Climate of Florida. References.